unbelievable how much love and support my family has gotten. We're hearing from the sister of the LaRondra mom who was killed, that sister dealing with the tragic loss of her family members, not just her sister, but her four-year-old niece. As yeah, well. it was two weeks ago today we first told you about their murders and kidnapping, but as you can imagine, time is moving so much slower for the Brunette family. However, as WDSU anchor Randy Russo tells us, the support from across the state and across the country has helped them in the process. And they hope that these two deaths are not in vain. It's a story you will see only on WDSU. And people just feel this because it's so senseless and just unreal. Emotions close to home for Brandy Hosh as she copes with the death of her sister, Kelly Brunette, and four-year-old niece, Erin, both murdered two weeks ago. An investigation spanning from Louisiana to Mississippi. It's just unreal to have to ever go through something like this. I wouldn't wish it on anyone ever to have to go through this. For her family though, they are taking it hour by hour. Thankful for the overwhelming encouragement from people both near and far. From bringing food to clothes to toys to an incredible amount of donations financially. How much that they have showed up for us and how sad they are also for us. You know, it, it has really affected everyone in our community um, and not just our community. We've gotten cards from Canada. We've gotten cards all over the United States. Brandy even touting the support of investigators through this difficult time who've been not only sensitive but transparent. They've been amazing to our family. Um, I just couldn't speak any higher of everyone that has been involved from any department. FBI, police, t our local um, Tangipo Parish Sheriff's, everyone, they've just, they are so open to let us know anything, any information that they have. And as lawmakers use this case to evaluate the Amber Alert system in Louisiana, Brandy supports any changes that could be made to better the process. Do you think if it had gone out within that hour of that investigation that things could have maybe been different? I wonder if it could have been different. I, um, in my heart, I think so, but I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just think that it certainly didn't help that it went out so far past the, when everything was found, mm -hmm. but I guess we'll never know. As they navigate through their grief and the long road ahead, they say with the supporters at their side, the journey is slightly easier. And my family, I'm not just speaking for myself, my whole family, we, we truly appreciate everything that everyone is, has done for us. Randy Russo, WDSU News. Two people, Daniel Callahan and Victoria Cox, have been arrested in connection to their deaths. To see the details of the charges against both, you can head to our website, WDSU.com. Well, turning to